Chinese state media set its sights on the North Atlantic Treaty Organization summit in Washington, seeking to portray the alliance as a threat to world peace. Marking its 75th anniversary, NATO said the world faces the most dangerous security environment since the Cold War and accused Russia of shattering peace and stability by invading Ukraine. Overlapping with the summit, China is conducting military drills with staunch Russian ally Belarus near NATO member Poland's borders. In a rebuke, NATO called out Beijing for being a decisive enabler of Russia's war against Ukraine. Chinese media and officials responded by alleging it was NATO, not Moscow, fueling the Ukraine war. Yet, more than two years into the Ukraine-Russia conflict, peace still appears distant, serving as an example that the coalition is not promoting peace, but rather threatening it. That is false. Russian President Vladimir Putin has made Ukraine's capitulation and surrender a precondition for peace talks. The top United Nations court rejected Russia's pretext for its invasion, which U.S. National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan and others call a war of choice. Russia first invaded in 2014, when Ukraine's domestic law prohibited NATO membership. Kiev has reportedly put its NATO membership prospects on the table for peace, to no avail. Analysts and Western officials argue that the Russian aggression against Ukraine persisted because NATO feared direct conflict with Moscow. Russia has moved air defenses and troops away from its borders with NATO member states, suggesting Moscow does not fear a military confrontation with the alliance. Russian state media and officials have repeatedly signaled that Russia seeks the destruction of Ukraine and absorption of its territory, even if Kiev surrenders.